Hey folks, Bill here. Today's video I'd like to, uh, I think I'm going to call it Fix It With On One. And I'd like to show you how easy it is to take an image like this where the uh, brown pelican is about to fly out of the frame and turn that into an image similar to this. So basically, I'm right now I am in the browse mode. I'm selecting that one image and I'm going to go into my edit. All right. Now, on one makes it real easy. This um, you can add a layer. You can click on here if you have a, a second layer uh, image that you want to impose in it or you can duplicate a layer, you can do different things. Today we're just going to duplicate the layer. Well, cancel. Before we duplicate, I noticed there's a couple of uh, hot spots for some reason. So I'm going to go to the retouch, use a magic brush, touch that. I'm going to do control plus to zoom in. Hold the shift and I can pan over. Take care of those spots. All right, control negative to zoom back out. Okay, I'm over and fit. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate the layer. On one asked me, uh, do I want to create a layered photo? Yes, I want to. Add a layer. On one has created a second layer. And while I'm on the top layer, what I'm going to do is transform. Over on the left hand side, you can select this transform in the toolbar, or you can simply do V on the keyboard. And as you can see, you've got your uh, handles that you can transform the image. What I'm going to do, instead of clicking and dragging with the mouse, I'm going to use my keyboard arrow, and I'm going to arrow it all the way to the left, just before he goes out of the frame. Right about there. Okay, now I'm going to say apply. I'm going to click on the bottom layer. On the bottom layer, I'm going to do V again on my keyboard. And I'm going to use the left arrow key and bring this image all the way to the left. Since there is space behind the bird, I can just bring it right on over. Now, if I was to stop right here, you can see the difference in the tones. If I wanted to keep the sky all blue and I did stop there, it's real easy to... Um, use a masking brush and kind of fade out this edge. But I'm going to go a little bit closer and the shades match up somewhat like that. I'm going to hit return, which basically applies it. Now I have the two separate layers, one like that and one like that. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to the top layer right click on the mouse and you can come over you can duplicate layer you can delete layer you can merge all the layers merge visible but right now I just want to create a new stamped layer and that will keep the original two layers and create a third layer that is a stamped layer and just basically can turn that, those two off and there you have your bird flying into the frame. But I don't want to stop there. I want to change out the sky. This was this day was just a boring blue sky day. So um, I'm going to click on the sky down here. On one does a great job as far as um, masking out the uh, the sky. It notices it. And you've got several different um, 
different categories that you can choose from. You can even import your own skies and have them. Right now, I'm going to stay with the, uh, well, if you click on here, you can see BG skies, pastels, on one skies, all of this, all the defaults. I'm going to stick with clouds. And when you go into clouds, and you can select all the different clouds, different ones. As you hover over them, they change. And you can see the differences. Now you can, uh, as you select a cloud, 40, let's say, let, let's just go with 40. So, also, you can shift the horizontal position. You move the clouds back and forth. You can shift it, get it how you like it. Opacity, you can lower the opacity of the sky, the clouds, to make it more realistic. Fading the edges will basically fade the edge around the mask, help blend it in. Same thing for shifting the edge, as you can see, the it shifts back and forth. If you overdo too much, you can double click and it'll go to the default. And the scale, you can increase or decrease the amount. Of course, you've got all different ones. You can add warmth to it. You can brighten up the sky, take out the haze in the sky, and the blur amount. If, it's, if the clouds are too sharp and puffy and you want to blur them, just simply use the blur amount back and forth. And you can change blur angle. Now, I like this foreground lighting. You can... Uh, Click on it. It might be hard to see, but it without it, it throws, or with it on, it throws a cast um, that helps make it a little more realistic. And that's pretty much all I know about the sky and adding and um, importing. Now you can, like I said, you can import your own clouds and skies if you wanted. So there it is. I'm going to go back to browse. It's saving it, it's saving the layers, and it will create an on one file with all of the information that you have just done. And there it is right there. That's the on one file. The original and that's the one I started off with as a test run. So I hope this was helpful and happy Easter.